Hello all, this is uh, more Arch Linux madness for you, and again uh, with the XFCE4 desktop, and it's in VirtualBox here on the screen. As you can see, this is uh, the VirtualBox. Um, I recently had a video on uh, the OB session that I created, and I started to realize that maybe XFCE4 might be a better way to go about things because everything's there for you. And so I thought I'd make a video on how to make it look like Chrome OS or Chromexium basically and it's not very hard to do it just uh, just some time downloading a few things and configuring so I don't think I have anything uh, no I don't okay so make sure you have uh, the Yaoart package manager or uh, uh, the helper for the Arch Linux user repository or, or the AUR installed the Yaoart spelled like so and uh, let's start off and get uh, Google I believe it's just Google dash Chrome and you probably want to get the uh, first option the stable one so you just press one and uh, if you've never used this you probably used the art before so um, usually these are fairly safe so you don't have to edit the package builder or the install uh, it will take a while to download uh, uh, Google Chrome and its dependencies, so I'll be back in a second. Okay, so it's been installed. Uh, note, if you can take uh, note of these, uh, note, this note here. Uh, any custom flags have to, in Arch Linux, belong in the uh, dot .config chrome-flags.co1app. And the name of the launcher is Google Chrome, Google-Chrome-Stable. And we want to get these as well, the, uh, the TTF liberation fonts or font itself. So an alias for pseudo pacman dash capital S is pack for me. So I'll just install those. Those will help uh, a lot greatly for the look of the fonts in uh, Chrome or even uh, Firefox Chrome, Google Chrome, Chromium, and so on. Okay, so let's just fire up uh, Google Chrome and I'll ask. Uh, in this case, we'll make it a default browser. You press OK. And we'll close out this stuff. And you we'll go to your uh, home folder, Thunar File Manager, and in the address bar at the top, just highlight, uh, just type local. And then go into share. And there's two, there's two folders. There's icons, high color. If you go to 128, apps, you can see there's uh, docs, uh, what is that? Drive, Gmail, YouTube, and the search. Let's go back to just the uh, applications now. You see there's one, two, three. So there's one, two. Why is it not? Oh, yeah. Sorry. Two, three, four, five here. Okay. Just right click on these and select copy. Okay. You don't want to move these out of here just, and then just right click on the desktop and, and select paste and there you go there's a template of Google um, apps already set for you so let's go to our desktop settings okay and we want to get rid of uh, for now uh, we can do single click if we want but we want to get rid of the uh, default icons and we'll close that for now and just right click anywhere uh, panel uh, preferences and click add we're at the top here and there's a new panel so we'll close that I'll, I'll cut, um, go into this new panel the third panel preferences and let's give it a row length of like 50 or so whatever close enough one more there we go and you close now with this we can take uh, whatever order you want uh, say Google Drive and when you drag it on here it's going to ask if you want to create a launcher and so you do the same for each one so I'll just uh, step through say Google Docs sometimes it's hard to, there it goes create a launcher and so on and then uh, move this panel out of the way and just select all these you can I, I didn't include Google search because it's kind of redundant, but just uh, shift delete. It doesn't matter. These launchers are coming from the uh, 
local directory so they'll stay there if you delete those so next thing is go back to your panel and let's start uh, removing things so uh, this is seen as panel three here this thing panel two is down here we're gonna remove that we'll close that and move this down to the bottom or so and again preferences are gonna lock the panel appearance completely transparent and I see the little uh, there's like a well, shadow we'll just go to our applications settings settings manager um, tweak manager compositor and untick show shadows under dock so you probably have an idea where this is going so we'll right click on this panel and go to its properties panel preferences lock panel and we'll just close for now and just drag them down whoops drag it from here and we'll just uh panel preferences and we're going to remove and stuff uh might have moved this out of the way we're going to move a whole bunch of items like the action buttons oops sorry let's uh sorry uh click the action buttons the minus sign remove notification area we're going to leave clock we'll leave application workspace which we're going to remove that uh, window buttons are going to remove those and the launcher and then we'll go back to display links depending on your desktop say dep well your desktop like a full screen desktop it'll but in virtual box is going to be uh, different sizes so I don't 23 or so and just take this handle and move it down here at the bottom now under items uh, this the uh, notification area click this wrench and untick show frame and the clock you can adjust to whatever you wish like the a 12 hour clock with the seconds like so okay and sorry uh, one more thing is uh, appearance will drop it down to about 40. Okay, another way you can create a launcher right from the desktop, I think. Uh, so just uh, Google Chrome, create, it'll have the icon. Let's uh, unlock this panel and drag it onto here. And uh, another command is uh, creating a launcher. Uh, so it's Google Chrome uh, dash stable slash, I mean dash, a space and a dash show, another dash app, and I think another dash list okay now it doesn't have an icon mark executable so that's it there so we don't have an icon for it so again we'll just oops I didn't mean to do that I'll zoom out I'll just drag it on to here if it'll let me I don't know is there a bug in XFCE create a launcher and we'll just delete this and we're gonna have to find an icon but we'll move it uh, right click and select um, move so you can either have it here or at the beginning. So uh, keeping with this panel, we'll go to uh, panel preference and add a new item. And we're going to add the, the window buttons. Go to the wrench icon. And untick show handle. Uh, flat buttons and show label. Untick show label. And then close. And again with the panel preferences. Uh, pixel size, maybe a little 36 something around there I think now we can lock the panel so let's get some wallpaper so we can uh, launch our uh, app launcher and just type in the search here I think it's Chrome OS wallpaper I think there's a download page there it is it this might change right <laughs> uh, so it's Chrome OS wallpaper is on Chrome up and there's a complete archive it's huge uh, it's uh, it's taking a while for this page to load. Well, it gives you an idea what the wallpaper looks like. There we go. Okay, and download this through Google Drive. It's going to give you a warning about a virus or something. Couldn't be scanned. Well, I didn't see any viruses on in Linux, so we'll download this, and it's a uh, 190 megabytes. So we're waiting for that to download. Uh, uh, Chrome has uh, changed as a launcher icon. So if you want to look like for one uh, that looks like this, if you want, or the traditional one. So let's go back, and I just uh, look for Chrome app launch launcher icon, 
and see more images. I don't know if we can get the one that's the new official one or not. Uh, but uh, you can uh, browse through and maybe find one. Okay, so it's uh, finished downloading. Uh, downloads. It's huge. So you can uh, da, 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 extract this wherever you want. You can go to your home folder and select pictures and just drag them out to that directory. There, it takes a bit of time. And we'll go to a desktop settings again and another folder. So home folder or wherever you put it. Uh, Chrome OS wallpapers and give that time to fill up. Uh, where's the default? The one that everybody knows. There we go. And as far as the icon goes, uh, the launcher icon, this one is an Android one, anything you want. So uh, open a new folder and uh, to control H, I guess would be the easiest, and create a new folder dot icons if you want to, or anything you want. Open that folder and throw it in there. And then we'll uh, right click properties here and change the icon. And we'll just look through all images and we'll go back to our home folder. Control H. <laughs> Sorry, dot icons. Okay, save. There we go. And of course, there's nothing really in this tray. Uh, so in the system tray, I don't have anything. Uh, but you can get your network manager and uh, other things in there and uh, make a logout screen or a lock screen or both and uh, I'm going to download in these notes here that I made uh, I'm going to get the, the the one that seems to work most with uh, Chrome OS is the uh, Raybird theme for XFCE that's in the Arch Linux user repository and ultra flat icons they cover almost pretty much everything almost everything so I'll get those two and I'll be back when I'm finished downloading those and installing and one neat thing, another neat thing about XFCE is uh, you go to your desktop settings and you go to icons and where it has uh, icon type, if you select none, uh, you won't be able to access the desktop in the traditional way, but you can right click now you have uh, your settings and stuff. So we'll go to settings manager, appearance, and we're going to use uh, Greybird and icons ultra flat. There we go. All settings go to our window uh, manager. And uh, I think Greybird's in here somewhere. There we go. Okay, so it's uh, looking uh, pretty good here. So we'll just uh, just for convenience, you can always right click now and log out. But if you want to have an icon here, you can just uh, uh, panel preferences or add new items uh, launcher. Three dashes. And the command is uh, XFCE4 session dash logout. So I'll look for an icon. Probably a better place to look under action icons. Uh, you can uh, something like the refresh button, something a little different. Press OK and create. And for a lock screen slash screensaver, I download the XF uh, XF X screensaver dash arch logo. So it's a it's kind of a neat X screensaver is neat in some ways. You can do a lot with it. So you want to launch it from the command be X screensaver or it's in your settings now. Uh, dash demo and it will say it's not activated just say okay and there's a what's it called uh, X screen saver uh, dash command and tack on the word lock actually you can just uh, have it without the K or with the K um, but I don't want to do that right now but that is the command you can add to your uh, panel here if you want just a lock screen button okay so after a reboot I did uh, manage to get it to work in VirtualBox so there's the screensaver with the arch logo and the crazy uh, screensaver background. So you just unlock. And there we go. And it says screensaver command activating and locking. And then, then obviously it closed. And just uh, if you want, you can create, as I mentioned before, a lock screen launcher with that command that we just uh, saw in the uh, command line. And we'll just uh, check for an icon. All right, here's one under menu icons. There's the lock one. Press OK. Create, close, and again, you can move it around if you want. Okay, I think that uh, pretty much covers uh, most of it, or all of it, or whatever. Uh, you can feel free to add anything you want. Uh, I'm just going to go into full screen, and that's what I was saying about this, the uh, panel. 
preferences. Uh, you can make it uh, smaller, like so, in a full screen, you know, on your main system. So that's it. Turn your XFCE4 desktop, Arch Linux, or Ubuntu, whatever it's Ubuntu. I can't remember. <laughs> uh, into a Chrome OS look, basically. All right, so thank you very much for watching, and we'll talk to you soon. And bye for now.